Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another two box break of 2020 Bowman Draft. Uh, well, the Bowman Baseball Mixer featuring a box 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball and a box 2019 Bowman Chrome HTA. And that's the one with just the three autographs inside. All cards ship, including the paper in this uh, quick little two box break. Thanks everyone for getting in. Big thanks to these folks right here. Let's double you up. One spot get to two. Double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. All 30 teams in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it three times for names and teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got Kim down to Richard. Three times for the teams. Two and three. Padres down to Twins. There we go. All right, so Kim with the Padres. Ed, you got my Dodgers. Nick with the Braves and the Phillies. Edward with the Giants. Kyle with the Astros. Greg with the Orioles. Kim with the Rays. Jason with the White Sox. Nick with the Halos. Uh, Jason with the Yankees. Garrett with the Indians. Richard with the Brew Crew. Nick with the Mets. Kevin with the Pirates. Franklin with the Cardinals. Greg with the Reds. Garrett with the A's. Nick Stober with the Rangers. Kevin Hall with the Mariners. Nick, Rockies. Tigers, Nationals, Kevin with the Royals, Kylie got the Diamondbacks, Nick with the Marlins, Franklin with the Red Sox, Nick with the Cubs, Kevin with the Blue Jays, and Richard, you have the Minnesota Twins. Let's get this alphabetized by team name right here. And feel free to trade if you'd like. There's the two boxes right here. This is what the 2020 Bowman Draft looks like. That's the one with these guys on the front, Spencer Torkelson, Max Meyer. And this is 2019 Bowman Chrome with Tease Jr. and Pete Alonzo on the cover. All right, any trades? Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. People have been pretty, pretty quiet on trades today, so let's just TWC trade window close. Let's print and rip. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Big thanks, big thanks, big thanks. It's a pretty good mixer. I, I was uh, I was bummed at like the first five, the first like three or four of these. I think like Jason and Sean had done. And I was like, I wanted to do these two box mixers. These are pretty fun. A lot of fun baseball. Baseball, a lot of, a lot of baseball in here. A lot of fun baseball in here. Uh, basketball on the background. Why the Lakers down to the Pacers? Eight points in the second quarter already. Now we're after the first quarter, really. The second quarter just started. Oh, at first, this was a little confusing. At a glance, the Lakers are actually in black uniforms. And the Pacers are in their in yellow or gold. So at a glance, just out of the core of my eye, I was like, wait a second. A lot of weird looking looking Lakers. I don't remember these these gates, these body types, the way they run and shoot, and I was like, oh, because it's the wrong team.
Wes Matthews, you need, you need to have a good second half. That'd be huge. All right. Good luck. So thankfully in this break, if you're a fan of the of the Bowman draft paper, the Bowman paper, guess what? You're going to get them in this these little quick breaks. Here's Jeff Criswell, Oakland A's. Garrett with the A's. That'll be for Garrett once again. The paper, Zach Veen, going to Nick Stober and the Rockies. Yo. How are you? Good. Torkelson paper and a Corbin Carroll paper to four ninety nine. That'll go to Kyle Pace and the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Snakes. And there's number one overall pick, Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers, Nick Stober with Detroit Motor City. Another Zach Veen. And Zach Veen. Chrome. Jeff Criswell. Sky Blue, I think it's what they call it. Garrett with the A's. Zach Veen, Chrome, going to Nick Stover. Another Torkelson. And we got Jason Dominguez. The Paul Mamba? Dominguez paper going to Jason Siebert and another Torkelson paper going to Nick and Detroit. Hmm, that's a little concerning because I think he was out with a concussion or head issue not too long ago. Alex Caruso. All right, second stack. Another Dominguez. And we've got an autograph, purple chrome autograph, Aliko Williams for the Tampa Bay Rays, 15 out of 250. That's Kim who got randomized the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. DL Hall, 250, 32 out of 250. There's a DL joke in there somewhere, but I guess baseball doesn't use DL anymore. It's IL now. CJ Vanek, Speckle, Sparkle, Speckle. Robert Hassel, another young up and coming prospect for the Padres. They seem to have a ton of those. Kim 
with the Friars. This guy's outfielder, I guess. Yeah, he's an out. He's an outfielder. Yeah, their infield's pretty set. Machado and Tatis locked up on that left side. I think they'll event they have Cronenworth. I think it's second. Maybe maybe CJ Abram in that spot if Cronenworth doesn't work out. Although well, Cronenworth played really well. And so I get there's CJ Abrams right there. He's at shortstop, but I think I'm gonna slide him over to second base. So I guess I guess Robert Hassel in the outfield. That's like their outfield maybe could use a little upgrading, I suppose. It's not bad, but they put a star out there. It's a pretty scary team. Franchise futures to 250. And we've got a nice Keith Colt. 70 out of 75. One day there'll be a Keith Colt 45 out of 45. That'll sell for a lot. Detroit, Nick Stober with that one until then. Zach Veen, Rockies, also for Nick. Hmm, Garrett's thinking maybe they'll they'll move Abrams into center field. Yeah, I was gonna say someone will end up in center field, right? They can they'll move a a middle infielder to the outfield to make room for everybody. There's Reed Detmers and David Calabrese, eighty out of two fifty for the Halos. That'll also be for Nick. San Diego has options. And they've got a number of arms coming up the ranks. They feel so good about their farm system that, ooh. A three out of five, Corbin Carroll. Red paper for Kyle. Kyle, you know what that means. Out of fives and under. You can do it with me if you want to. Wake up the neighborhood. There you go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Now you're hoping Corbin Carroll turns out to be somebody, right? He was their 16th overall pick in 2019, so. So he's a first rounder. Spencer Torgelson for the Tigers. And another Zach Veen for the Rockies. There you go, Kyle. There he is. What was that? Three, three breaks and a train wheels? Some people wait years, man. Jason Dominguez. Jason Dominguez. Oh, he is probably is the top prospect for the Diamondbacks. There, even better. Jason Dominguez. Chrome for the Yankees. Jason. I don't know. Put, a, put an eyeball on that. If, that, if that. if you think that could grade out nicely... We can grade that out. Maybe a PSA 9, PSA 10. 10 would be awesome, but even a PSA 9 wouldn't be too bad. And then you wait for him to become a perennial all-star. And then boom, profits. I don't know. Maybe at that, when he becomes a perennial all-star, maybe you're thinking maybe he could be a little bit more than an all-star. Maybe the Diamondbacks go to the playoffs because of him. Win the World Series because of him. Oh man, now you're thinking. Now you're thinking maybe he's got he's an outside chance to be a Hall of Famer. Then it turns into a million dollar card. That's what we're. All, that's what everyone's hoping, right? All of these players. I could I could draw I could write the same narrative for Heston Kirkstad for the Orioles, big East Coast team thirsty for some postseason success. If Jason Dominguez lives up to the hype that he had when he first came onto the scene. I mean, his cards will skyrocket again. That's why this draft stuff is 
is awesome. I mean, take a look at that 2019 or 2009, that is, Mike Trout Bowman draft box that we're trying to move. The final three autographs. Thanks everyone for getting in. Good luck. It's going to be Brandon Belak. That's for Houston. That's another one for Kyle. So both of his teams have hit in this break. That's what he's all about. And we've got... Ooh, gold shimmer, or maybe yellow shimmers, 38 out of 50. We've got Durbin Feltman for the Bow Sox. It's going to go to Frank. There you go, third round pick. I think the Red Sox kind of have some youngsters coming up the rank. Either Dalbeck or Casas, one of those guys is doing well this spring. And the final one is for... Cleveland, this is for you. 413 out of 499, Brian Rocchio for the tribe Garrett. There you go, Garrett. See, there you go. Number nine Indians prospect, according to Baseball America. I actually got that top 10 prospects magazine. I subscribe. I just got it the other couple months ago. I should bring that in. All right, there you have it, boys and girls. Pretty nice break. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Really appreciate it. A lot of great stuff, a lot of gradable stuff, a lot of low-numbered stuff. I kind of like this photo. I'd, I'll, I'd take a bunting photo. You know, it's like, hey, look at me. I'm, 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 I'm fundamentals. He, he holds the bat kind of credit. The thumb creeps over there, but he holds the bat like you're supposed to when you're bunting. So you don't like break a finger like like Trey Turner did a couple of years ago. All right, and there you have it, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.